Hello, YouTube and fellow resellers. It's Kevin, the Stoic Reseller, and another What Sold in 24 Hours. And we're going to talk about patterns. Patterns on eBay specifically, because that's all, the only place that I sell. But first, I must apologize for my absence. I have been battling a cold for the last, I don't know, five days or something. I started feeling kind of icky on Saturday. Um... Saturday was kind of eh. Sunday was a little like better and then Monday was okay but I don't know what happened so yesterday was terrible I just did not have the energy to do much and it kind of sucks because yesterday was a pretty solid day on eBay um had like seven or eight sales decent profit items that I wanted I should show you but they're already mailed out so but anyways today we have our handy dandy AI tool um, I changed it up, I swapped the total profit and net profit, because I feel like the net profit deserves to be at the bottom, while total profit is different, and the AI tool could not take my alterations pr appropriately, so it, it, it messed up. Um, anyways, so, uh, we had a total of five sales for one eighty nine sixty five. My average sales cost is 31.2% of that is $59.17. Average cost of goods was uh, 9.69 times 5, which comes out to $48.45, leaving me a total profit of $82.03. Got to pay the piper. Uh, so that's $28.45. That's a cheap piper. Leaves me a total net profit of $53.58 for the day. Guys, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited for the football season. It is literally tomorrow, uh, so... I may not do a video. That's a lie because I'm gonna do a video. But gosh dang it, am I excited! So the first item we have is CC Filson. Uh, this sold for twenty five dollars. Sold overseas. Um, this was an interesting experience because the buyer was experiencing an eBay glitch. Wouldn't you know it? An eBay glitch. Aren't we all just so used to those? Um, he couldn't buy because it, it said I didn't ship to him, which is funny because I go through the eBay global shipping program, which is handled completely by, you guessed it, Obama. Uh, I'm just kidding. It's, it's by eBay. But anyways, um, I double checked all my settings as, and told the buyer, I was like, listen, man, you're gonna have to chat with eBay on this one. Uh, cause the person I was chatting with said it's not on my end that the buyer needs to resolve it with eBay international. I don't know. Long story short, the guy was able to pay for it and I'm happy about that. Uh, the next item is an item that got returned to me and just like the old adage says, if it sold once, it'll sell again. You know, just like your great dad, granddad said, and your great, great granddad said, and and the five other grandpas you had before that said, which is a total lie because no one's fucking saying that. Uh, but anyways, well, maybe I could start it. Maybe I could be your grandpa. Uh, sold for thirty-one forty-seven, and I relisted this about two weeks ago. Guys, the next item before we talk about our handy dandy topic of the day, this is a Grayson polo with this awesome angled G, like a Greek G. For Grayson, because you know they gotta they gotta represent. Flash the gang signs and shit. Um, anyways, this sold in I think this was listed either Monday or Sunday, one of the two days. Either way, it sold within like five days uh, for thirty one dollars forty seven cents. Guys, if you didn't know, Grayson's a fantastic brand. Um, so the topic of the day is patterns. Patterns on eBay specifically. Um, I kind of dabbled into this a few videos back where I was discussing that I seem to only be having sales in the morning before like 10 o'clock. And then it's dead silent. I'm talking crickets. I don't even think the crickets are cricketing. Like it's You ever look it up on eBay or YouTube. There's a video of this uh, or a documentary rather of this chamber in England where they were able to minimize the sound so much that you can hear your heartbeat and you can't even be in this room for more than like a few minutes. Otherwise you start going crazy because you start to hear the blood rushing through your brain. It's pretty wild. That's what eBay's like. 
until about five o'clock. So it's it's super odd. Like today I had one sale at Grayson Polo. And then I had like two sales late yesterday. Um the what is it? what did I sell yesterday? Uh the Filson sold yesterday and the uh yeah no. Yeah, the Filson and those uh Peter Millar pants. Those both sold yesterday. Um, and then, so today I've only had three sales. It's been pretty slow. But literally, so uh, we're trying to clear our storage. We're having a yard sale t- uh, and, uh, this weekend. And uh, so I'm getting off of work late because we had a hell of a day, um, which I enjoy. I like hell of a days. Uh, I hope you guys do too. I love hell of a days. Hell of a days are hella awesome. But anyways, I got to storage. Made an item. Sold nine. Sweet. Was clearing out stuff, loading my car. Someone paid for an item that they had bought early this morning. It's like, sweet. And then I get home, pull all the items for this video, and I just sold another item. And so I'm like, sweet. And so now I'm like, what the frick is going on? Because it's not like this, like, just randomly. It's like this almost every freaking day. Now, I will say, days where I have under $300 in sales is like this. Early morning sales, late evening sales. That's it. However, days where like I have the weird spikes in my my sales graphs, those I'm getting sales about once every hour or every other hour, and it's freaking wild. And so you know I don't want to discredit anybody, but there is got to be some explanation. Uh, like maybe it's a server issue. It's I have no idea because if it was an economy issue, I just wouldn't be getting sales at at the frequency that I get them. I mean, especially, like, what would the economy have to do before 10 a.m. and after 5 p.m.? What Like, does the economy just get better during those times? But I I do truly think there is something odd going on. But that's, I guess, really not my concern. As long as I continue to get sales, we got to stay consistent. So those are are the main important patterns, right? It's what we do. It's irrelevant what eBay does. We just have to continue to find in-demand products that sell at a reasonably high price at a reasonably low price of cost. And that is what I show you guys, what is possible on any given day. But let's move it on. We've got two more items, like I said, slow day, which is fine because I guarantee you somewhere during the week, it'll make it up. In fact, all the last week was fairly slow. I mean, uh, when I pulled my bills for the for the week over week on every Wednesday, I was about three hundred dollars short than I was the week prior, um, and that just could be month end shit. I don't know, August. Blah. But anyways, we got these. These are some Travis Matthews pants. Uh, Travis Matthews pants do pretty solid. If you can get them for under eight dollars, I would snag them. These sold for twenty dollars, and I listed them yesterday. And the last item I have for you guys is, these are marine layer. These are a woman's fleece jogger. Uh, sold for $19, and I listed these on Monday. So, uh, not too shabby, guys. But yeah. For those who do watch me, which is only like one to two people, which, and I really appreciate you guys. Trust me. I look, and I hope you comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family. And guys, in the comment section, please let me know. What is the patterns that you have been experiencing on eBay? I would love to know. Until tomorrow, for another What's Sold in 24 Hours, rule the day.